Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Seasonal Storm. My name is Jess, and today I'm showing you guys some of my favorite on-the-road braid and hair tutorials, including using extensions from last weekend when we were in Coarse Gold, California. So, to get started, we're going to go ahead. Here's my natural hair. Here's me. Here's my face. Hello. Hello. And that's kind of my natural hair. It's a little bit wild. I have multiple textures, and my better half is talking to some rodeo kids who are having a hard time with a horse. So if I keep making concerned faces, y'all know why. We are going to go ahead and brush out our extensions. I was rocking some two or three day hair right here. So I'm using my extensions, not just for added volume. My length is pretty long, but also to kind of help conceal, you know, the rodeo grease. I'm going to go ahead and section my hair. This is a crown style extension. And as you can see, don't mind my scars. Um, as you can see, um, my hair, I'm keeping most of the volume and thickness of my hair on top, making a cute little bun, and I'm going to flip my fake hair, which is actually real hair, but it's not mine, so, you know, and I'm going to lay this halo right on that line, and it is pretty much going to disappear. So I'm going to go ahead and finger comb and then brush this out to kind of even up the textures. Now I do braid my extensions when they're wet so that they, you know, match my natural hair type. I'm going to go ahead and take my bun down. Now I'm going to shake my hair out and as you can see, other than one little bit where I have a scar, um, my extensions pretty much hide perfectly in with my hair and they look pretty natural. They are a little fluffy at the bottom, but we are going to be doing some updos, so we're not going to notice that so badly. So I'm first going to do a half up, half down and you can see my extension line. We do not want that. So there's a few ways you can combat that by either pulling up some hair or I actually just pull some hair out of the extension to go ahead and blend the two together and add some thickness to my upper pony and now it's completely hidden. You cannot tell that I have fake hair in. So I'm using a scrunchie and I'm making a half bun first. And this is actually really great, especially if you're wearing a hat, keeps your hat on, but um, that's not the look I'm going for today. So even though that was a good little attempt, I'm gonna take my ponytail, I'm going to do an inverted pony and slide it just like you saw. So you take the end of your pony and flip it through the main portion of your hair. And now that I have that, I'm gonna take these smaller elastics. I do like to coordinate my elastics, but unfortunately I was just working with what I had. And here's a close-up of that. So you're gonna invert another little pony. And to me, this kind of looks like a fishtail style braid. And I like to like puff mine out so that they look more volumized. And it again, helps distract from the grease in your hair. I am gonna fix where it's caught up in my scar, so don't worry about that. But I also just did this for a quick tutorial, so. So I made another little bubble braid and there you go from the back. It's very boho, it's super chic. I get a lot of compliments when I do my hair like this. And I love it, it's really, really functional and comfortable and looks great under a cowboy hat. Now here's my second look. I'm pulling all my hair to the side in a side pony. I also do this just because, again, when I'm wearing a cowboy hat, it does help my hair, my hat stay in place and hold it on. But also I don't like having the weight down my back um, it's just a personal preference. I'm pulling out a few wispies in the front. Maybe I pulled out a little too many. That's okay. And I'm going to do another inverted, inverted ponytail. So that's where you roll it in like this. And it makes that kind of fishtail braid looking design without the actual work of a fishtail. Yes, that face is because a little girl almost just got bucked off a horse and I was really worried, but <laughs> Sterling had it covered anyway. <laughs> so I'm doing another inverted and we're going to bubble this one out as well. And this just adds something more than your traditional, there he is, um, your traditional braid and adds a little visual interest. We're gonna interview in, we're gonna do the flip thing with the bottom one. There you have it. And this literally took me three minutes. This is the easiest hair to do in the world. It'll last all day. It's super comfortable. And even though it's really thick, it doesn't get that hot. So I, I actually end up wearing this hairstyle for the rest of the evening. And I did end up redoing the base of this pony just because I pulled it out too much. And that's okay because this is such an easy braid to redo. It's not a huge deal if you make an oopsie. Okay, so now that one's done. You can see what it looks like from the side. In pictures, it's really pretty too. And for the next one, I'm gonna tease the crown a little bit just with a normal brush. Again, this is probably better with a teasing comb, but I didn't have one. And um, I'm going to go ahead and adjust the back of this extension too, just because when I teased it and moved it around, it slid. There were supposed to be clips on this extension, but I have lost them, so, you know, real life stuff. 
So as you can see, I'm continuing to just add a little bit of volume around the front and the face framing pieces, and we're going to go ahead and pull it into a pony. Now this is more of a medium pony, um, not a super low pony like the last one. And I don't love doing these when my hair is dirty because I feel like it shows all the grease in my hair. Um, but that pony alone with just a little bit of extensions looks really great. You know, I 10 out of 10 would wear that. In fact, I do all the time. But to add something a little elevated to the top of that, I'm gonna go ahead and brush out this section of my extension. And then I'm gonna do a really simple braid just to add a little something extra again i feel like these things shouldn't even need to be tutorials but sometimes people see my hair and ask me questions and i figured this would probably be a good place to give all of my best ideas to you thought i just broke a nail on my hair wouldn't be the first time and i'm going to do what's called pancaking my braids you're going to take your outer pieces and spread them out and it adds a lot of volume and thickness to your hair and just adds a dimensional piece that's different so that's that one. Again, I don't have a cowboy hat on at this point, but this this is another style that looks great under a cowboy hat. Thanks for stopping by today. If y'all like this braid video and wanna see more in the future, let me know.